Good evening, everybody. Welcome. I was getting ready to lay out some cards, and what came to me was Okay, so that sometimes they give me pictures and images, and hopefully this will resonate with somebody. Uh, they're showing me an umbrella and polka dots, and so take that in any combination that you would like. Polka dots and umbrellas, and so this will be particularly for you. Okay, so what we have, so, oh, we have the judgment card, and we have the ace of swords. Wow, and the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. So something, oh, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune on the overall tone. So somebody with an umbrella and polka dots is gonna have some really good luck here. You're finally coming to an end of a cycle uh, and this is the overall tone and you're going into a new cycle and it's basically whatever you want, it's coming, whatever you've been manifesting is actually coming right to you. It's a brand new start. We do have the judgment card, so it could be something coming up from the past that you've been wanting. And you're gonna get a lot of clarity with the Ace of Swords and a message, a beautiful message with the Ace of Wands. And then with the Page of Swords, we have somebody coming in with the actual message. So what I get for this is um, there's gonna be a turn of events coming your way. And it's gonna be very, very, very solid. And it's going to be something that you've been wanting for a while. And you're going to get a lot of clarity. What's coming towards you around this will be a lot of communication. It's a brand new beginning. And there will be a lot of clarity. And there will be things that are said. Um, and so there'll be a lot of truth that you've been wanting from the situation. And, and again, I think it's from somebody that you already knew. Because we do have the judgment card. And on the Ace of Wands, we do see this crown with this nice little growth on it. And typically that signifies somebody coming back. So, so somebody that you already know uh, is going to come to you with what you need. It's a beautiful thing, right on. <laughs> so that was for somebody that had a uh, pink or not, oh wow, pink. Okay, well anyways, an umbrella with polka dots. Take that how you uh, can resonate with that. Maybe you have one in your umbrella stand, or maybe you saw it on the TV, or you were just talking about it. And I don't know if there's polka dots on the actual umbrella, but. All righty. So let me see if I can't get a clarifier while we're waiting for our first caller. Oh, you got the page of cups now, too. So, so yeah, somebody's definitely going to come in with a nice offer. Uh, something that you've been looking for and that you've been wanting for quite a while. And it's a brand new start. And we finally have our first caller. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you. And who do we have with us tonight? We have Michelle from Riverbank, California. Hi, Michelle. How are you, honey? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. So, Michelle, what kind of clarification would you like tonight? Um... Well, I'm suffering something severe health-wise, and um, it's been going on for two years, and I just want to know if it ever gets better. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay. So I went ahead and I pulled five cards for you, Michelle. And uh, your first overall, I pulled a card from the bottom of the deck for your overall tone. And what, they, what we got was the world, okay? So you are coming to um, an end of a cycle and you're going into a new cycle. This is actually very, very good. And I understand that you've been working very hard on this uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. You've put a lot of time and a lot of effort to try to move this forward and, and get some sort of stability with it. Um, this Ace of Pentacles shows um, typically what it represents, somebody that has actually put a lot of time and a lot of effort and what they know and to build that foundation that will carry them through. And that is very apparent with the world. So you actually have enough resources, I believe, 
to, to, to go forward with this. You do have the King of Swords, and funny, it's right next to the King of Pentacles. So you're going to get a lot of clarification coming your way on this particular issue. And it's going to be something that you're actually going to appreciate and that you're actually going to want. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you feel at ease. It's, you're going to make very, very comfortable. This is going to cut right to the truth with the King of Swords. Uh, he's going to provide a lot of clarity and it's going to be from somebody that is very mindful and very intellectual and very studied and very well versed in what they do. Okay. And this is also apparent with the King of Pentacles as well. Okay. So somebody who actually knows um, what you need to know is going to be able to give you the information that you need. And it's going to be stuff that you're actually going to enjoy, I believe, because with two of wands, you're actually looking out past this and and you're seeing your accomplishment through this ordeal so this is actually going to be a good deal this might also um represent some sort of travel uh overseas uh this does represent that as well but you're actually going to get the information that you have been looking for you've been seeking for it you've been working very very hard for it trying to get the clarification that you need and you're finally going to get it here with the queen of wands you're going to be able to take the action that you need with the information that you're going to receive from the king of swords and the king of pentacles um you're going to be very comfortable and very confident with that okay i'm going to pull some clarifiers with you for these cards but michelle i wanted to ask you how we're doing so far okay good okay did you have any questions before i start laying down clarifiers um no i'm fine okay so I want to go ahead and clarify for you uh, the two of wands to see what this is actually going to really, really look like for you. Okay. This is actually really good news. We've got the Queen of Cups, we have the Temperance card, and we also have the Eight of Wands that clarified your Two of Wands, okay? So basically what that means is, yes, this is actually a very emotional time for you. They want you to stay in balance emotionally. They're assuring you there will be healing with this as well. Uh, not only the physical part of it, but the emotional part of it as well. And you're going to get an incredible incredible amount of information coming your way with this towards you that you're going to be able to move forward with okay the temperance just wants you to know this is actually going to happen and you're going to be balanced um did you have any questions so far honey? no okay let me see uh can i get clarification on the queen of wands please yeah okay Okay, beautiful. So they gave us the the wish fulfillment card, the nine of cups. You're going to be very, very happy. Everything that you have worked for endlessly to get to this point or to get to that point, which is still coming, you're going to be very emotionally satisfied with this. Um, you're going to get the knowledge that you need with the high priestess to manage this very well. And she just wants you to also, with this and the temperance card, they're asking you to stay balanced and trust your intuition. The universe has got your back on this. Nothing's going to happen to you. You're going to get out of this conflict sooner than you think. Okay? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah you, will, you will get your wish fulfillment out of this. And you're going to be very, very comfortable. I don't know if you can <laughs> see him, but he's looking pretty smug and pretty happy like there's like nothing for him to do. He's done all the work around this already. And he is going to reap the prize, so to speak, and he's going to be very comfortable with the result. Okay. Um, let me see. But yeah, and you also got the wheel of fortune as well. So you're going to be very, very lucky in this. And I just wanted to let you know that we are down to two minutes. And they're also saying, you know what? You've been through the battle. We know you're tired. It's okay to take a rest on this. They actually want you to rest because up here in the corner, you may see that church window. That's just letting you know that they actually have been hearing you. They have your back and they've been guiding you the whole entire time. 
don't be so overly um, out of balance with it. They keep on stressing patience, patience and patience and, and to try to ground yourself. And they just basically want you to find a way to ground yourself through meditation. This is a really good meditation card. He's, he's resting, he's relaxing, he's looking at the church window. That's the help. Um, so go back and we have 60 seconds left. I'm so sorry. But they want you to just go back, find your quiet space, understand that you're going to be healing and to trust and get the information and receive the information that you're going to be receiving. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Michelle. I really appreciate you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, for everybody else, if you would like a personal one read for me, uh, I am at christinemattingly.com or causejoy888 at yahoo.com. And thank you so much for everything. And you guys have a blessed evening. And thank you. Mm-hmm.